Okay. So we are talking about uh, soul plan. This is our session three, uh, which is uh, a lot is taken from the book, Your Soul's Gift, which is the second book from the author, Robert Frost. And uh, here we have seen that what is the goal towards the true healing? It is not something that, you know, we want one time, one particular day, no. What we want is the healing or uh, the feeling of fulfillment, true love, oneness, abundance, all those, you know, elevated emotions for a longer time, for life, not just once. Uh, suffering is something that uh, if you go back in history, we have seen the way the, the life works, that we learn through suffering. So it is not specific to region, a place, religion, belief, whatever. It is the way human emotions and the whole thing works. Now, can we learn without suffering? Yes. Is it easy? No. And what is the relation with the soul plan that we incarnate in this life to experience emotions? Because you can only experience emotions in human form. And that is the reason Suffering is also, like we define it as suffering, but it is part of our life uh, as a soul when we take birth. Because you want to learn both sides. I mean, we call it good or bad. For soul, there is no good, no bad. It's just learning. But sometimes we say when we are laughing, we say good. When we are sad, we say it's bad. But for soul, it's just experiencing both sides. So... What we are trying to do is actually increasing the self-love. This is one fundamental thing. We improve, you can say, self-esteem, self-confidence, self-love, and increasing our emotional independence. Sometimes we just blame others for everything in our life going wrong. That, oh, it is because of my colleague, my boss, my family member, my neighbor, whatever that may be. When you improve your independence and you start uh, seeing things differently, you will see you as the primary source of your well-being. Uh, you can take care of it. You can become anyone. You can be whatever you want in life. That means everything is in your hand. And you also understand why things are happening the way they are happening in your life. Now, one of the fundamental factor which we all have is a false belief. False belief is the, you can say part of the soul uh, that we incarnate with certain beliefs which may come from the previous life, earlier in this life, that we have kind of accepted that, yes, I cannot do this, I cannot do that, I'm not good in this, I'm not good in that. Uh, it could be a question of some guilt, shame, pain, trauma, tragedy, whatever that may be. There is, you can say, our notions, our uh, beliefs, which low level energy, we get stuck in that and the whole life you are going into that. Uh, you know, sometimes we are with anger, we are with the feeling of lack. Uh, this person did this to us and 20 years we can stay in that feeling. That means we are hating that person and we are holding that emotion inside us. When you hold the emotion inside you, it doesn't matter what it is, it will hurt you later on because you think it is the other person, but because emotion is in your body, it will hurt you. Based on the emotion, different organs in our body gets impacted. Uh, whether it is lung, it is heart, it is intestine, pancreas, you know, every kidney, they have different function and different emotion gets stuck in different organs based on the, the energy level of that emotion. Heart is one very, you can say, a big factor in our well-being and in this whole world of balancing energy, spirituality, whichever way we take it. Why? Because heart is uh, reflective or uh, attached to emotion. Brain is logical. Two plus two equals four. Brain answer will be clear. Heart may say two plus two equals six. No logic, feeling, 
emotion, true love. And once your heart and brain connects, it becomes super highway. And then the energy flow, energy balance between left side, right side of the body and all those things improves. Now the concept of Akashic record is that there is a record of every soul. You and me may not be able to access it, but there are people. There are people who we may call, uh, you know, medium, channel, uh, who can talk to spirit, who can talk to guides or spirit guide, uh, you know, masters. Uh, now, there is a technique which is called past life regression, uh, which there are different masters who does it. And you can do that to understand a part of, okay, uh, from the previous life, what is kind of, you know, which is coming in this life and the reason of your, in this case, you can say suffering or learning or pain in this life because you will see, okay, this was a gap in previous life. It is continuing to, your plan is to learn in this life. So it's not just suffering, but we take every pain as suffering. Because soul does not know anything high, low, positive, negative, good, bad. It is our uh, language, our way of you know, describing things. We are all bundle of energy. So we come with the plan that, okay, this is what is missing in me. This is what I want to learn. It could be fear. It could be biasness, the judgmental part, whatever that is. We want to evolve. We want to improve. Once this increase, once you... First, accept that, yes, I have this flaw, I have this topic to work on, or I have this shortcoming. Once you embrace all this, half the problem is gone, your healing starts. And now you will see the flow of love, flow of positive energy, free um, freely move in their body. Now, there is a concept of free will. Soul plan means your whole life story is being planned that, okay, I will learn these major emotions in this human form in this particular life. And uh, this will happen when I'm, say, age 5, 10, 15, 20, whatever, like the whole life is planned. Now, one may say that if everything is planned, why should I worry? I can just sit and relax. Whatever has to happen will happen. Well, there is a concept of free will, which means that life is like process flow and you have multiple scenarios, multiple options for each uh, event. So if you go from A to B, then yes, you can go to C to D. But if you go from A to C, you may go from C to E, whatever. What it means is that there is a op you know, backup plan A, backup plan B, C, like that. So in one real example, there was a, a lady who always listened to others. People will come and tell, do this, do that, and she will have no energy to defend herself. She was not strong enough. There was another person, and he used to be kind of, you can say, bossy or telling others what to do, never listen to anyone. So these souls, they joined together and they said, hey, I want to learn how to be, you know, kind of able to say no to others, uh, defend for myself. And the other person says, I want to learn how to listen to others because I never. So I said, okay, let's plan. Age 30, we will get married. And then, you know, I will learn this from you and you learn that from me. Agreed, this was a soul plan. And then you have many such planning. Now, age 28, when this uh, lady, this soul is a birth, again, as uh, this lady was working and the boss was telling, you know, sometimes you have a boss who's kind of bullying and all that. And went through so much of, you can say, suffering, pain or suppression, that one day she was like telling the boss that, hey, enough is enough. If you want me to work for you, you have to treat me with respect and, you know, yada, yada, yada. What it meant was that she stood for herself, for her defense. And she got that energy to overcome what she was trying to work in this lifetime, one of the things she had to work. And now because she got to that level where she learned how to defend herself, there was plan that age 30, 
she will marry the other person who will help her learn that, right? As a spouse. But now no need, already learned. So no need to wait two years to meet this person to get married to learn because you have already learned. So what will happen in this life? She met someone else, got married to someone else to learn some other things, which was as a backup plan. So still it was planned, but as a backup. So free will means things will happen, they are planned, but there are backup plan A, B, C for everything. So depends on if something has already happened, why would you do it again? You go for something else. Right. So this way it can impact your own life or because of the other person. You wanted to teach someone else. If that person has already learned, like in this case, the you know, the future husband, like now he doesn't have to come in her life because she has already learned. He will meet someone else and that plan B will continue. This is free will. Challenges is something which in our case, whatever doesn't go the way we want things, we say it's a challenge, it's a suffering, it's a pain, it's a problem. And we say, oh, I'm going through a big tough phase in my life. What does that mean? That I'm going through challenges. That means life is not going the way I would like life to go. Why? Because generally life runs or challenges, they come as a counter to your hope. So it's not a question of running around or running away from them. It's a question of learning. And, you know, in, as we said, increasing our self-love, increasing our, uh, in the soul level, soul energy. So what's happening here is the life will throw challenges for our improvement, not to make us suffer, not to, you know, put us down or not to hurt ourselves, never. The soul has planned this only either to learn something or to make others learn something. So it is not just sometimes us, but including other. One example uh, in this uh, real example again is that uh, there was a family, two sisters, a brother, and they had a very good uh, kind of, uh, you know, well-to-do family and uh, when the properties and the asset wealth was divided between the three siblings, the brother lost everything and he was into, you know, homeless state, uh, alcoholism and just lying, you know, pretty much under a bridge. And the girls, both sisters felt very bad for the brother that what he has done to, you know, his life and feeling sad about him that, you know, he's not good, blah, blah, blah. When they went through their session and they realized that the brother is actually helping these two sisters learn compassion, which is one of the fundamental, uh, you can say, uh, emotions that uh, the universe believe in, oneness, uh, you know, compassion, caring for each other and all that. And they lacked, both the sisters lacked, and that's why they understood that it was a soul plan that their brother will teach them. And that's the reason he picked this life of homeless, just staying under the bridge kind of alcoholism and all that kind of thing. So that these two sisters learn compassion. The moment they realize certainly not that they started feeling bad, which they were, they stopped feeling bad for the brother. In fact, they had a lot of positivity or a lot of gratitude for the brother so that uh, you know, they can learn these two things that he has, his soul has picked such a hard life. So sometimes, you know, challenges, we feel that we feel sad or bad about the person, but you don't know what the truth is. Different things comes in our life because of a good reason. But yes, we take it as a challenge and we say, oh my God, you know, I'm going through a very tough time. Look, my kids are not doing well, or my boss is like this, or my neighbor is like this, or... I'm going through this, whatever the case may be. Actually, everything is there in our life based on our own plan to make us learn, to go deep and get away from our, those, uh, you know, those real issues which is causing all this. That is some fear, some guilt, you know, we may have some biasness or um, 
all those low level energy, pain, shame, guilt, trauma, tragedy, and all those things which get stuck. It may be coming from previous life because the body in the human form goes away at the end of the life, but the energy get transferred to the next life. It, it's part of the soul. So whatever you have, the lack or the negativity with you, you are trying to fix in the next life. So that's why, you know, certain things come from the previous life, certain you may picked up in this. And that's what we say, challenge. So first thing is to be aware of, first thing is to accept, and then just embrace. When you embrace your shortcomings, challenges, you know, the healing start right away. That is the first thing you have to do. Why? That is the first thing that everybody runs away from. To accept something is wrong with you is very difficult because we feel, uh, you know, others have problem, not me. And here you have to accept that, yes, there is some shortcoming or some uh, areas of weakness that you need to work on. Nothing wrong in it that everyone has, but we don't accept. So that is where this challenge comes from. And what happens is, we feel sometimes, you know, sad or bad, but thank, you should be full of gratitude to your soul that soul planned all this because we learn through challenges, unfortunately, through suffering. That's why the soul plan, and it will have both some suffering, some good, some happy moments, some, you know, uh, positive things. And the heart energy is awakened after going through some personal crisis. You will see this feeling of gratitude, helping others. A lot of things comes, changes. It's just a question of how to reach that state. That's why the sufferings is there, just to shake us up, just to bring us in alignment with our soul plan. Now comes the karma. And this is uh, kind of another topic which is mysterious, sometimes very difficult to understand. So here we will talk about two main things which will clarify and we'll go over and over. One is balancing the karma, one is releasing the karma. Now what does balancing? Balancing means every coin has two sides. Balancing means in this particular life, I am receiving care. So I will say, I learned how to receive care. So in next life, I may learn how to give care. Now there is a again, real example of a, a mother and the boy and uh, the boy had some medical conditions. So obviously mother was taking care of the child. Uh, you know, you feel bad why my son is going through this much pain and suffering. What they came to know is in the previous life, the role was reversed. The child was mother, mother was child. And similar situation, the child had a health issue and the mother had to take care of him for whole life, giving care. So as a soul plan, when the soul decided that, okay, in this life I receive care, I understood, but I've never given care. So not necessarily you will switch roles. You can plan with some other soul. So it's a group of soul, a family of souls you know, and some will incarnate now, some will stay there and they keep rotating. I mean, that's how this concept works. So that was the reason these two souls decided that, okay, I will play the role here or you will be my son. And yes, there's this medical condition and I will be giving you care. Now to learn how to receive care, you have to have a situation. Otherwise, why would you receive care? But because you have a situation, you are receiving care. You may feel in this life and we don't know anything that, oh, my son is going through suffering, such medical condition. It could be physical, emotional, mental, whatever. But that's how this balancing act works. Now, what is releasing? Karma? For example, there was a case that, okay, uh, the person was kind of... Uh, in the previous life, he had worked uh, in the Nazis propaganda uh, team. So communication wise, they were twisting the facts to promote things in favor of the regime, the Nazi regime. 
So in this life, the person was born uh, as a uh, in a person like a family, but uh, he was autism. Why? Because of communication issue. Because in this life, the person wanted or soul wanted actually to learn the value of you know truthful communication. So in this life, challenge because autism, you have challenge of communication. That's why the soul picked that kind of issue of medical condition so that one can learn. Now, this is more or less balancing in one life. You did not take care of value of communication. In this life, you are trying to learn that. And when it comes to the reason that, okay, why did you pick that? Okay, it was because of fear. So if I'm fearful, it could be fear of life, fear of whatever. And then I said, I did whatever I did. Uh, Sometimes you are fearful of lack that, okay, I'm, I'm fearful that, okay, something, everything will go away. I will not have money or food. This, that's why the person in another case was stealing something, stealing food basically, right? And because of fear that I will not have anything and he was stealing. So in this life, person was donating or, you know, charity work and all, but just stealing or donating or in the previous case, communication wise, you know, it's, it will balance, but it will not release. So release means if it is because of the fear you did this, you have to work on the fear. If you are fearful of your life, that's why you joined, say in this case, the Nazi and agreed to do such work, um, or it was fear of losing and everything. And that's why you were stealing food. You have to work on your fear. Once you overcome the fear, now you are releasing the karma. It will stop the cycle. Otherwise, you know, you keep balancing in different lines. So balancing is necessary. That is one element. But releasing the underlying factor, the emotion because of which it is happening, whether it is guilt, shame, pain, fear, all those low-level energy emotions, which is causing those, you have to work on that. Otherwise, you will keep creating new karmas. So these are two important things, like I said, because of fear, the person joined the wrong organization in the sense, you know, helping Nazi do this. Uh, or uh, other example, because of fear, the person was stealing. So not only you have to balance, but you have to get rid of that fear. Now, how do we know we have fear and all those things? We will see as we go. <clears throat> but one thing is uh, very clear that you need to do both when it comes to karmas. Otherwise, it's a loop process. So I hope. This is clear. Balancing is like two sides of the same coins. If you are giving in one case, you will receive the other. It could be a care. It could be giving and receiving wealth. Like in one case, the person was stealing something. In another case, he was donating or volunteering, you know, that kind of thing. So you are balancing. Releasing means you have to work on. In this example, we talked about fear. So you have to work on fear. Now the question comes, you want to heal. The whole plan of the soul is to, you know, keep this journey and improve and heal. Heal what? So whatever energy is left unresolved from our prior lifetime, we are trying to work on that. It's like, you know, you go to the school and teacher gives you homework. Before the next class, you go next day, you, have, you come home and you do your homework. So whatever is unresolved from prior life, you have certain work to do in this life. And that's what the plan is to move higher and higher in the level of souls. So there are many things, uh, like we said about low level emotions, energies like shame, guilt, pain, some event that had happened trauma, tragedy, and that you are trying to overcome. Why the fear came because of something, because of shock, because of certain events, certain thing happens. And then you continue in this life to work on those. Yes, you may create some other issues which you will resolve in the next life, but in a way you are going step by step. Again, taking the example of a school, you go to say example grade six, you learn something. Again, grade seven, you will say, oh, again, I'm learning. Yes, but a higher level topic. Then grade eight, you will say again, I'm back in the school. Yes, you still have some more to learn. Grade 12, you say, okay, I'm done with the school. Yeah, but now there is a college. Oh, I'm done with college. You may go to university, you may do PhD, you may do whatever. So what I means is there is always 
learning until we reach nirvana. And that is what we try to do. Now, another example was that healing uh, for us, as we were talking about, we need to accept first that there is something that I need to fix. If you don't accept this, don't acknowledge that, then there is nothing to be worked on. Then your healing will not take place. In this example, the person purposely picked alcoholism. So he was totally like every day drinking alcohol and you know out of his conscious and not good for the family. Uh, usually we say, oh, it's a problem, this, that. The reason that person picked was the soul picked that in this life I will go through this, creating emotional pain. And that emotional pain in himself brought him to his knees, basically, and then surrendering, whether you call God, almighty, universe, higher self, doesn't matter which way you look at it, but basically surrendering to higher self and saying, universe, okay, you know, I surrender. I cannot take any more pain. And then the person switched into spirituality means understanding all these topics. And after understanding all these topics, he could heal the fear he had carried in his body. So the soul learned, the journey was to get rid of the fear. How to get rid of the fear is not like, okay, I take birth and I take the fear out. So you have to go through certain emotions, certain characters, certain, it's like a drama going on in your life to reach the state where you can surrender and learn. And once you learn the understanding of how it works to fix it. And that is why we go through both kinds of emotions. It's never just always smiling or always crying. One way of expediting or working uh, on this path is service to others. So in this evolution, whatever you know, whatever you are good at, whatever you have understood, you try to help others. And by giving others, you know, you create a lot of positive energy inside you, which is elevated emotion, feeling of gratitude, true love, oneness, Compassion, you know, the true human, uh, you can say, those characteristic emotions comes into play. So it's not just me, 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 me. You can say, I will learn everything, then I will teach other. But in this case also, you are too much into me, 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 my, my, my. So you are narrowly focused. You say, I have learned this topic and I am ready to help others. Now your focus is wider. Now you are in the feeling of oneness. And that is what we want, that, okay, now you are ready to really help others and in a way helping yourself. So there are three layers of souls when we go through this, the spirit self, the soul self, and the personality. Personality means physical body that we know very easy. Soul, what we call the soul, the soul self, that is our the soul which is trying to gain some experience and evolve. And the spirit self is like a spirit guide, God, whatever you may call it. It's a part of the universe. And we say, I am Brahmasmi. We are all part of the universe. So that's the realm of being. So soul is getting there. Nirvana is going towards that. That's the realm of becoming. And the body is just the carrier. So you can keep changing uh, say you are always traveling and flying. So it doesn't matter you go by this airline, that airline, or this aeroplane, or that aeroplane. It's just our physical body is just like that. Time to time, you keep switching. But the soul, which is in the process of becoming, and then the spirit self, which is the realm of being. So in the spirit self, which is the spirit, this is where we are working on. And we will get into more details uh, in the next session. We will continue. But this is what we are trying to evolve. This is what we are trying to improve the weaknesses, the issues that we have to reach nirvana. So once we understand the three levels, the physical body, the spirit self, and itself, the universe, then it's sometimes easier to understand and work on this. So... What it means here is we are all part of the same universe. We have a plan. Good or bad doesn't matter to 
the soul because you have to learn both sides. And that's why sometimes we feel happy. Yes, I'm doing good when everything is going good. And when things are not going good, we say, oh my God, I'm, my bad phase is going. It's not good or bad. There is a reason. It's all towards our benefit, not to make us suffer, not to make us in any kind of pain. 